I'm Jenny Barnett Roars, your host. Let's let our imagination run wild today with projects that challenge our thinking. I'll start with a new technique for rolling out textures. We're going to create a trio of texture tools using household supplies so that you can make things like cards, bookmarks, even pieces of fine art. So to get started, you're gonna to need to gather some supplies. And a lot of these you'll find around your house, even in your kitchen. You're going to need a potato chip can or a paper towel tube, even rolling pins that you can find in a recycle bin at a dollar store, some bubble wrap, twine, craft foam is great for this project, some acrylic paint, white glue to hold it all together, and then some extra things like glitter glue and scissors, rubber bands, even clothes pins. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna make a couple today. So the first one is super simple. We're gonna take the potato chip can and just put some bubble wrap on top of it. So if you've got big pieces, you're gonna to wanna to cut them down. And it's really easy to cut bubble wrap in a straight line because you just follow the circles all the way around like this. And next, we're going to glue it on. And this is where all that white glue is gonna come in handy because we're just gonna spread it out like this. Let me see if I can get it a little, there we go. And be liberal with the glue because it'll really hold on to the plastic. And next, we're gonna roll it up and cut off the extra. We don't really need to glue it to itself, just to the can. And then we're gonna use a rubber band to hold it in place while it dries. Now, for the next one, we're gonna go ahead and use a rolling pin. And like I said, we found this one at the dollar store. You may have old ones um, that you find at rummage sales, but again, this is another gluey thing. So we're gonna just take a little bit of glue, and I like to spread it with my finger. Now, if you had some wide dowels or an old chair leg, I mean, be creative. You can find a smooth, round surface. And for this one, I'm gonna spread on the glue and then I'm going to wrap some twine on. You notice I'm not even measuring the twine, it's not important, but what is important is that you crisscross it around like this. And you can do as much or as little as you want. You'll snip off the extra and you can knot it to keep it into place or you can wrap it in cling wrap. And I'll show you that technique on the next one too. So let's set this aside and let it dry. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna use a paper towel tube and some craft foam. Now, this is really easy to find at a craft store. Um, you could also use foamy stickers if you have them, but for this one, we're just going to take pieces of craft foam. You can cut it into shapes. Zigzags are fun, chevrons, squares. I've got a couple different ones here. And now, I'm gonna glue them on. And this is where if you'd like to make a repeating pattern, you want it to be kind of the same, right? So that means I'm gonna make a row of these diamonds so that every time I print it, I'll see those patterns emerging. Now these little foamies have a tendency to like to curl up. So what we're gonna do is get as many as we want on there. And then I'm going to take a piece of cling wrap. You'll find this in your kitchen probably. And you just take some like this, rip off a length, spread it out over. Let's see if I can get that guy in there. And then we're gonna wrap it up. And the cling wrap will hold those foam pieces on while the glue dries. So go ahead and set that aside. I've got one here that's ready to go. So let's make some prints. Now, when you make your prints, you're gonna wanna get some acrylic paint and put it in a little dish or a jar, and foam brushes are really handy for that. This rubber band wants to be a part of my craft today. So there we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and take this off, and you can see our cool textures. So much fun. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit of paint, and let's roll some prints so you can see what they look like. I'm using this foam brayer, but you can use a foam brush or a paintbrush, and I'm just gonna go over the top of the foam like this, and move this to the side so you can see how it works. You ready? Do, 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 do. Sound effects help, by the way. Do, 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 do. And we've rolled a print. Now, 
You can see those cool shapes. We're gonna let that dry just a little bit and bring out another color of paint. Because one of the fun things about making textures is that they really do kind of enhance and complement each other. So if I take this one, now I've got these bubbles and I'm just painting some paint onto that bubble wrap. I don't even have to go all the way around. And I can go ahead and go over it like that and over print it like this. So let's try one more with the twine so you can see how that one looks. And again, the most important thing is not to paint the whole roller, but just the texture on top. So that twine is what's important. Like this. Let's see how this one looks. I love these colors. So be creative. Think about things that you can find around your house to glue to a cylindrical object to make different patterns and textures.